Hey, uh, thank you guys for watching my video. You clicked on it. Thank you. Hey, um, grown-ups, where you at? I don't make content for kids, okay? Um, this is for grown-ups. I'm 41. Right. It's going to be um, about 10 seconds of some graphic material. Uh, nothing crazy, but dealing, you know, I'm talking about the, the car accident, okay? So I'm expressing uh, what's been, oh, goodness, how I've been feeling about the accident. So I put some clips up, okay? It, it, it is graphic. It's not for it's not for kids. Okay, if you're if you're screamers about it or you know you don't like stuff like that, um, but it shows car accidents. Okay, um, if you don't want to see it, please just fast forward. Okay, but it's not really for kids, but it is graphic. It's a, it's a warning. You all just saw the accident. Hey, it's, it's bad, bro. I guess I didn't realize how how I felt about it, if that makes sense. It happened, had a couple of scrapes, you know, a little bit of you know, whatever, nothing serious, nothing, no no broken bones, no fractures. I'm gonna say it was a miracle, but holy shit, it, it could have been, you know, really bad. And so after that, I said, after the whole thing happened, I was just like, you know, whatever. I was gonna transfer from Texas, Swift, to just here, I already, I already had called him, you know what I'm saying, told him I'm moving to Virginia. But, you know, I didn't know when, I didn't know when, you know what I'm saying? So this kind of was like, okay, after the accident, you know, I, I kind of just, I don't know if I blocked it off, I don't know if I just, you know, cause I went on about my day, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't have any serious injuries. But I was watching TikTok or Instagram or one of them joints and like, I seen an accident. Now, I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all on Twitter. I don't know if y'all on Twitter. Twitter shows, everything now watch twitter twitter shows everything you know what i'm saying it's certain stuff on facebook and on instagram they ain't gonna let you show right you know they're gonna flag your ass and probably disable your account twitter ain't like that twitter shows everything somebody is getting that gets thrown out of a window and they have it on film or they have it on video they show everything you hear me and that shit like it the sounds it scared the shit out of me Before I know it, you know, I'm sitting here watching TikTok, holding my phone, and I'm damn near having a fucking panic attack or whatever it is. Like my heart started beating, <sighs> and, I, and I was like, "What the?" F you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, so it bothered me, and I didn't realize, or you know, my, I, I don't know, was I in shock, or you know, I didn't, I didn't process it or whatever. And a after watching that video or video, like even that, still now, like that shit bothers me. So yeah, I will not be in a truck, I mean, maybe never. You know, I I seen a sw I seen a sw uh, a swift truck the other day. I was like, that's nice, <laughs> you know. I, but that's that's not my thing no more. Uh, some other things are coming up too, but I'm gonna be quiet. Enjoy the video, and thank you guys. Everybody always got something to say. You know, I, like I said, they don't fucking pay us enough for what we do. You know what I mean? Like, I saw that shit and I was like, damn, that. If the accident itself didn't say that this is not for you, and then a man. Right here in Virginia, Chesapeake, um, drove his truck off a bridge. And I'm like, God, you know what I mean? Like, fuck, hey, fuck a truck. <laughs> fuck a truck. Like, oh, oh, God. Like, that just ain't, it ain't for me. And I'm seeing a lot, like, a lot more truck drivers. Like, no, nah, hell no. It is definitely a safety risk. And these companies are not motherfucking paying enough. That's, that's just what it is. My bad. Back to the video. Social butterfly who loved his family and would give you the shirt off his back. Christopher Scott's mom, Cece, tells us her son got his CDL last August. She says the 36-year-old's goal was to own multiple trucks and contract them out. 
On June 22nd, the tractor trailer Scott was driving swerved and went over the guardrail in the northbound lane of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. The U.S. Coast Guard, Virginia Port Authority, Virginia Beach EMS, Virginia Beach Fire, Virginia Beach Police, Chesapeake Bay Bridge Police, and Virginia Marine Resource Commission all jumped into action. Salvage crews from Crofton Industries pulled the truck out of the water Friday afternoon after discovering Scott's body still inside. A spokesperson for the Bridge and Tunnel District says the truck was owned by Keep It Moving LLC, a company based out of Mechanicsville, Maryland. Hauling the truck out of the bay proved to be a difficult task, according to the U.S. Coast Guard. The truck went between the northbound and the southbound bridges, so the salvage aspect is a bit more challenging than just being able to directly lift it up from out of the water. Scott is survived by his mother, three children, one of whom was born today, and a host of brothers and sisters. Hey guys, hey, I wanted to pause the video. I'm jamming to my music. Um, you guys can hear, all right? Uh, I just put the, hey, if you guys seen me make spaghetti before, it's nothing different, but here's what I want to show you. Here's what's special. Here's what's special. This is my first time. This is straight, can you guys see it? I know I got the blurry effect on, all right? But look, this is straight from New York. They straight, look, look I, I start talking different. This is Michael's of Brooklyn. Fresh tomato and basil, tomatoes, fresh basil, fresh garlic, Italian, uh, 2929 Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, okay? Italian, they have their own restaurant. They have like five of them. All right, so this is like coming, this is straight, like the real deal. I usually buy that Prego and stuff like that. Is it Prego or Rego? It's Ragu, I'm sorry. But anyway, look, this is, so this is the first time. But look, look good. Somebody bought this, made this in their restaurant, in their home, out of love. And that was in my home. Oh yeah, it's about to go down. Otherwise, hey, thank you guys for watching. I know I haven't been cooking, um, but I've been home a little bit and uh, hey, spaghetti has been requested several, several times from the family. So I was like, yes, indeed, I'll make it. And uh, so here it is. All right, well, all right, bye y'all, peace. Cool. Okay, this is awesome, guys. Oh, oh, they got robes. Oh, they got robes. They got robes. They got robes. Gee, that's awesome. It's awesome, guys. This setup is just fire. I want this in my house. I want this in my home. It's not. It's, it's not hard. This is easy. Get ready to head out. Let's go ahead and get it.
Alright, so this is my current situation. Um, I want to pop the trunk, but the hood is where you see it. But. I mean, basically, I was driving and um, like my car was acting funny. And then my lights was coming on. I was like, what's going on? So I pulled over and I, um, I popped the hood and my I seen that my, my belt was broke. And I was like, shit. That was the reason why I was supposed to get my car checked before I left, but I did it, so. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I am currently at the car place. My car, um, it, the belt broke. It blew or broke. It, <clears throat> it, it's not in good shape, guys. So uh, I said I was on the way to Virginia, and this it's always something. It's always something. Always something. So yeah, not good. Let me show you. I've been waiting so long for this. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you the update. Uh, I've been in Georgia for two days now. Uh, it was only supposed to be for two days, but my car was in the shop, as you can see it behind me. Um, they fixed it. I drove about 20 miles down the road, getting ready to, to come to Virginia, and I had malfunctions. So I, I had to bring it back to the shop. Uh, I called around, I called to places that were um, closer to me, but it's Sunday, it's, it's Super Bowl Sunday, and like nobody's really working today. So uh, I, I'll be here for a couple more days. You know, I'm, I'm really, it depending on how bad uh, the car is, I may have to, I might have to get a, a plane ticket. I might have to leave, I'll leave the car here and uh, just go ahead and handle business. So I don't know, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated, all right? Good morning. All right, so it is, uh, it's not quite seven o'clock yet. It's about 6.45. And um, this is my last day in Georgia, I think. I'm getting ready to leave now. Um, I came here in Georgia to visit my bestie that I've seen before, you know, so I go to Virginia. And um, I ended up being here for a whole week, you know what I'm saying, just having car issues. Um, but it's, it's been pretty fun. It's been pretty cool. And um, I'm just enjoying it moment and now hopefully we can um continue our journey and make it to uh virginia for valentine's day so thank you guys for being here i appreciate it fingers crossed let's go and get it <laughs> Actually, 
Uh, um, I was like, actually, I do have Popeye's money. Mom, let's go. Hey guys, what's good? So we're in the kitchen. We just had soccer. You guys saw it. Um, I want you guys to see this right here. It's really well on the vlog. Yeah, there's famous fried chicken. I right, hit them chicken wings up. All right, then you come over here. Alright. What we got over here? What we got over here? Squim tacos, Squim tacos. Olivia, you're hating. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Your arm. Not bad. I'm gonna touch you. Tonight. Tonight. 39. <laughs> Damn. What is going on here? What, the, what are they doing? What are, they, what, is this, what are we showing here? What are we watching? <laughs> she was hitting him, thank you. I'm going to stop and catch up, but I've got things to do. Prince of Thieves. Sinbad. Legend of. Okay. I was wrong as shit. Yo, that's a horrible angle. Be movie! 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 Be